The great thing about adding your images in the editor is that you have complete control over the placement of your image in relation to your text and can upload an unlimited number of images. Whether you wish to have your image left aligned, right aligned, or centered, you have complete control. Let's take a closer look and do some formatting together. When you use the Insert Modify Image button in the editor to choose an image from your library or add a new one, you'll see formatting tools at the bottom of the window. You can use these options to change your image's alignment, right aligned, left aligned, centered, etc., add margins, add colored padding, or add or remove a border. Want the text to wrap around the image? Choose left or right alignment so that the text will flow around your image. Now you might find that you need to increase the margin, or white space, between the image and your text. The margin measures in pixels, so try 5 to start and go from there. Padding lets you add colored padding around the image. Use the color palette on the right to select your color. If you want a black cell around the image, set the padding number, also in pixels, and then choose the color black to specify the color. Border lets you add a border around the image. It measures in pixels, so try one first for a thin border line and go up from there. Use the border color palette on the right to select your border color. In your browser, you might have noticed the automatic blue outline that hyperlinking an image creates. Go back into your Insert Modify Image tool and insert a zero border to take away that blue outline. Once you're happy with the way your image is formatted, you can add another image or exit the editor to save and preview your handiwork. After you exit the HTML editor, be sure to click Save in the wizard to save your changes and preview the images you've added.